it ain't just the clothes, all right? It's about who he is and what he has going on that extend it to the clothes you guys you know what i'm saying so all y'all fashion designers out there all y'all out there that got the hoodies or, or you're looking for the come up you know what i'm saying doing your thing get knowledge from this man you know so what i want to do man is you know i want to take it uh to your humble beginnings awesome. you know uh what made you want to get into clothing like like why clothes <sighs> coming from the inner city honestly truly having nothing right but you're inspired by what you see on television you know the scope of your inner circle those who wore the best dress you know right. who could afford it the upbringings of um the parents who had good jobs right but you idolize certain people for me it wasn't envy it was good praise one day I'll have that, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't something that I was driven to have because what my mother provided was enough for us, especially having four boys and no sisters, right? So when you're raised by one, you, you're you impacted by that woman and what she can do for you, you know, and you don't ask for no more than that. And not only was she feminine, she was on y'all's ass. She was on your back. Yeah, yeah, She's definitely yeah, on your yeah. back, but it's, it's for good teaching. It's for you to have what it takes to survive in this world, man, when you become a certain age and you can't look back at moms for uh, support all the time, you know what I mean? But fashion was more so like an extension of who we are. It's, it's an, uh, I'll put it like this, it's an expression. And we all know that because we have skin, but when we put on that fabric, how do we look? How do we feel? How does it make us feel? And it's good you said that because you already know, like, like let's even take it back, like, to, like, when you're, you're like, the night before school, the first day of school, you got your, 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 your fresh dress, yeah. you're in your closet, you're trying to pull it out, you're laying it on the bed, yeah. you know, and you're making sure that everything looks right, it's color coordinated. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You was one of them, huh? We was one of those. I was one of them. Even if I was sharing it with my brother, you know what I mean? We, we, we definitely made sure we went to school looking presentable. That's dope. First. What, what, like what, what was just give me an example what was your fashion you know what I'm saying your first day of school um the flyest kicks yeah cross color you know, because that was the era back then. You know what I mean. Cross color was definitely something that we, we we dived into, and it was it was it was vibrant. You know what I mean. But you had pieces from head to toe that you could put your full you know outfit together. Gucci was one of our you know favorites back then. You know, Polo was definitely out back then. You know what I mean. Uh, call it what it is, man. Car hot was back back then. You know, Wranglers for those who really don't know. Travel Fox. Travel Fox. But this is what we was on. You know, Lee Levi's. You know, those those was our things. Come on, just a little bit. Sure, I want, for sure. I want people to get you. You know what I'm saying. Right, there we go. I want, I want people to really see what's going on here. You know what I mean? Like, to, so so people can understand how your fascist, your fascist ability is able to have. To, to, you get what you get what I'm saying? Something such as this, yes. Right. You see what I'm saying? So like, you know, now it's the first day of school. You fresh to death. Like, what was made one of your main pieces that you loved the most? Like, was it like the shirt? Was it the the the, the jeans? Was it the sneakers? Like, for me, it was it was the footwear. Yeah. That's that's ending all. You know what I mean? You gotta have a fresh outfit, of course, head to toe. But you already know when you step outside, what, what's the first thing people are looking at? Your shoes. Your feet. Yeah. Right? And if you got the bobos, <laughs> you can forget it. You're not a part of this clique, this crew, this, whatever you want to consider it. But footwear was that that was the end all. That that completed your outfit and you knew that you was fresh once you knew you had to the yeah. best footwear on you know what I mean yeah. mm -hmm. it's funny you said that because I was always a sneak ahead me and my brothers we were all and it's funny you said that because we grew up in a single mother household with nothing but boys you know what I'm saying so it's a whole thing to say our mother knew how she wanted us to look, you feel me, as gentlemen, both from streets to also when you're going somewhere formal, like, right, exactly, you know what I mean, so like, how was that for you, you know, was that the same situation with you? Well, we started in church, so the attire was suit and tie, casual, slacks, button up, sweater, you know? Those things. So you understand presentation was first. Of course. You carried yourself with good manner. Dignity. Dignity pride. Respect. All of those things. Um, and, it, and it taught you how to just deal with the world. Exactly. Because now you had the spiritual upbringing. So you knew right from wrong and indifferent first. Right? But when you now become subject, subjected to the streets, you're now looking at what your homie's doing. Right. How does he look? I got to look like that. I got to carry myself that way. Not necessarily... You don't be you. Right. You have your own swag. Have your own swag. Nobody says you have to change, but don't be a follower. Create that leadership yeah. because we all are leaders at that, you know? 
I hope y'all are listening, man. Y'all, y'all. I, I think I think they'll tune in if, if they play it back a few more times and just replay it. <laughs> you'll get it. You'll get it because this is life. Yeah. And it's experience. You know, I'm not just speaking from something that somebody told me, but I've actually walked this. I've lived it. Of course, of course. Yeah, now watch this. Now, you being an entrepreneur, right? And you now. Now let, let, let's just get into some music real quick because obviously, you know, fashion and music goes hand in hand. Mm-hmm. So you know, you being the artist that you are, like you spit games crazy. Mm-hmm. You're producing's crazy you do all of it so like do you ever feel like your fashion stemmed from music <sighs> that was a deep question <laughs> Yo, hey, listen, I'm telling you, he's, he's about to drop some knowledge take a moment to think about that before I respond yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because that's what we listen to was music first, right? But again, they were best dress, right? They came out in their best suit, their best dress, blouse, right? Their performer wear. So I like how you said that performer wear. Yeah, this is not just something you pulled out the closet and threw that outfit together and said, I'm going on stage. But you had attire. Mm-hmm. You had a, a, a wardrobe to go through. To, to match your music. To match your music, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And it has to be that limelight kind of setting. Um, but I say for music... I needed to go into a place where I'm still expressing. Hmm? If it's not through the beat of a drum, if it's not through a tambourine, a hi-hat, chords, keys, you name it, just being a musician, clothing, it's, it's, it's the same way. It makes that heartbeat. Yeah. Yeah. No matter if it makes you feel good, mm-hmm. bad, mm-hmm. huh? if it's dark, if it's vibrant, mm-hmm. I'm putting it on. Right, and I think when I closed down the studio, I said I have to do something to keep my creative flows going. going. And and I picked up these programs that allow me to bring color, huh, onto fabric, bring ideas and, and place them on the fabric, and then go outside and say, hey, check this out. Yeah, man, because look at this. You, you have vibrance, yeah. vibrant. I mean, variations of vibrant. Right. Right. Because that's what I wanted to be able to give the world an opportunity to see, you know, culture, um, where I came from and why I'm truly doing it, right? There's got to be a story behind it, right? Make it heartfelt. Yeah, man. Yeah, so this is where RG Pillar stems from. Yo, that's deep, man, because now, you know, uh, understanding the whole fashion thing, right? And you know that fashion is very competitive. And I feel like, you know, dealing with a lot of... uh, the competition that's out there right like i everybody's trying to be something that they're not when i look at yours mm-hmm. i see that this is this is stella man like this is very stella like how was you able to come up with your designs and you know the concepts to be able to have them come to life and not only that having people buy this is a reflection of who i am right so when you create something you're thinking out of thin air Right. What are people going to think about what I created? I said, no. I'm going to use me as an example. I said, yeah, that's Beck's example you can use. Right. So when you look at RG Pillar, you're looking at the initials. You're looking at those letters, but you're also looking at the pillar in the middle. You got to show them the hat, too, man. It, come, <laughs> yo, this is fire. Yo, yo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Please tell them again. This is the world. Um... This is the astronaut. I mean, a lot of us feel like we're not on this planet. And a lot of times I feel like I'm definitely not on this planet. And, 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 real real quick, because I I didn't want you to look. You said something very pertinent. You just said the logo glows in the dark. Oh, every every bit of it. Definitely so. Because, I mean, again, we out there and and, and, in the club scenes. Right. You know what I'm saying? The parties. um, When they shut the lights off, everything's flashing around. Right. But you really don't never see what's on somebody's headpiece. Right? You're right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, I'm, I'm bringing you into my world. Mm. This is RG Pillar's world. But I also want to travel it. And, and, and that's something I haven't had an opportunity to do thus far. But those are my endeavors. Those are the objectives that I'm working towards. So when you look at the bear, that's me in a nutshell traveling, mm-hmm. right? So when you look at a bear, you don't control a bear's movement no. where they end up. If, even if they end up in your backyard, they're in your trash, mm-hmm. right? But I'm all over the place, right. and that's because I'm looking for opportunity. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for the next conversation, mm-hmm. so I'm wandering. So I'm glad you said that you're, you're you're wandering. You're looking for new opportunities, like just like you know, just off the rip. You know, like 
some of the people that you got in contact with because this just ain't in the u.s this is also no, overseas overseas as well right, yeah right, right. um I've, I've come across um some some pretty important people uh nfl given um <laughs> I'm gonna throw it out there. Big Poppy is definitely yeah. um, one of one of my. I was waiting for him to say that because I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> I, I can share that with the world now that we have this platform yeah. to give the information yeah. to. Yeah. Um, Hugh Jackson definitely is holding on to a customized piece from RG Pillar, um, given to him personally. Um, this is that's at big bro. The time where he was uh, uh, coaching TSU College. Um, so again, that's 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 me becoming that <sighs> impulse. I'm with strong you. names behind you. strong names behind and I had an opportunity to go up there and meet with this gentleman not just a phone call how can I help you but this is what I want to do for you and the, the invite was come on up right and that's a 17 hour drive by myself right so you already know my ambitions high and and i didn't really need anyone to travel with me and it's funny because a lot of people bring their team with them which is nothing wrong with that but you for, for some odd reason you just understood you needed to be there yourself mm -hmm. i need the experience because this is my journey and i have to be able to talk about it right i'll share those journey steps later when when it comes time but right now i'm paving that way for myself of course, of course. Yeah. That's deep, man. You know, and you know, you having these wonderful people behind you. They're supporting your brand. They're rocking your brand. Now you got the general public that are buying your right. brand. Like, how was you able to do that? Because you got a lot of people that honestly, they don't have this. Right. They have their own looks, right? Even better than this. Right. But theirs ain't selling. Right. Theirs ain't selling. Like you, you got to drop knowledge on that, bro. Like, what separates yours from theirs? It's community base. <laughs> This is not geared towards one demographic, one color, one creed, one walk. This is for everybody. I actually made a, a, a customized uh, varsity piece for an 80-year-old woman, Jamaica, okay? And I was able to give it to her personally, and she was really humbled by receiving that piece because she didn't believe that it was going to be done. Hmm? So when I'm touching someone at that age, I'm touching the unborn. It, it doesn't matter but again we're all pillars out here yeah so we can look at the r and the g look at the man right. that's him right. but each and every one of us remember i say this you're a <laughs> pillar within yourself as long as you can in, impact someone inspire you understand what i'm saying you're a pillar you're a part of your community you're a pillar what do you think it makes you a pillar especially in the fashion industry <laughs> I think it through. I'm glad you said that. Y'all better be paying attention. Y'all heard what he just said? I think <laughs> he think they ain't listening. Truly unbiased. Mm -hmm. Not judgmental. You know? Um <laughs> I've I've been one to give many, many opportunities, many chances. And it's it's without finance. Yeah. Just being in the right place or having the right establishment or the environment, right? Dropping knowledge and seeing what you do with that knowledge. It's yours now. I gave it to you. There was there was no charge on that. Hmm? And, and sometimes we have to forget about the dollar. How can I see you exceed? I, I like to see some excelling here, right? That money's gonna come abundantly when we excel. But everybody wants that dollar first because it's quick. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. I don't look at that. And I think that's why I was able to create what I've created out of pocket with a little bit of help versus a whole bunch of promises. Because I've got no's, right? <laughs> but the contracts, they, they, they're not always official. You can always breach those things. Right. But when your word is your word and you actually show faith, that's why I'm able to show faith, bro. We, I'm, I'm so. I just, I just. We, we just got to do this. We, 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 we got to do this because this isn't now. And, and again, it's not about hating on anybody. It ain't got nothing to do with that. I just, you guys need to understand. Like, just look at this. Look at the detail. Look at the moccasin laces. You got the logo with the bird with the with the bear fur going all the way down the tongue. They, they're comfortable as shit. They're mad comfortable. Come on, look, 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 look. It's pony hair, but I mean, yeah, yeah, pony hair. My bad, pony hair. <laughs> you can make all the mistakes you want. It's definitely fur. Um, this this is quality at its finest. These these was imported from Portugal. Uh, it, it took me 
quite a while to get this um, to a finished product. You gotta see that. They gotta see that. Look, that's that's all stitched and embroidered, and you know, it's it's by way of request. Look at that. Logos in Boston side. Um, all the final pairs, they definitely have the size run um, underneath the sole, so you can see it. Um, but I, again, I wanted to give you something that was gonna last, right? right? Should have did it with these. Definitely so, and we have many more to come. A mini styles. Seriously, it's, it's it's really surprising because again, I spent more time designing than anything, right? Um, nine to five, unemployed, but back at the nine to five because of the ambition, you got to keep the bread coming. But I already knew that that little bit of money I was getting on a weekly or biweekly was not going to sustain me, the family, and you know, um, <laughs> man. Talk about it. Y'all don't understand. <laughs> Talk about it. I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> Talk about Listen, I told y'all, we, we be having church up in here, man. Y'all better pay attention to the knowledge, man. This is, this is legacy base. Mm. Understand that because, again, as minority, <laughs> hmm? know that as a minority, this is not easy to do. Mm. And <laughs> my partners, they're of all different colors. Mm. Hmm? Mm. So remember when I tell you all that, stop looking at a color. Mm. Hmm? Stop looking at race. Hmm? Expand. Expand. Mm. Mm. They're just like you and I. Mm. Hmm? It's just a pigment. Mm. It's a complexion. Yeah. That's it. That's it. But Melanin. brother nor sister may mm. think just like you. Right. White, black, pink, blue, turquoise. Yeah. I don't yeah. give a crap. Right? <laughs> yeah. They helped me do this mm -hmm. because of the education I didn't have. The education was brought to me right. by the grace of God. Amen. Amen. This is Amen. It's divine, man. So again, him first, he will provide you with everything that you need. Don't ask for it. It's already thought. He already knows what you need. He's going to provide it to you yeah. But don't rush it Don't rush it well, And that's why it. You can step your foot In something like that And it's going to give you Comfortability Plus quality Well it looks like God definitely man He 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 blessed you man Like this This, this is Woo Man look at this man It's like It's it's like it, It's so durable It's thick leather Real Is this Italian leather? This is It's, it's Portugal It's Portuguese leather Portuguese. Ooh Number five in, in the world for shoe developing. Right. Hey, listen, man. Y'all better step y'all's game up because he's already in the lead. <laughs> That's so tough. When you, when you go from developing to sourcing and you find the right source, the sky's the limit, right? So anything I feel like at this point, <laughs> I want, I can have it. And it's not by way of taking. Right. But asking the question, you'll get the answer. You'll definitely get the answer because you got to seek it. Yeah. And that's all I've been doing is seeking, yeah. right? Knowledge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A better understanding. Man, Reed, you know what's funny? Like, like, just your knowledge alone, you see what I'm saying? Like, you being able to teach, you being able to, you know, let people know, mm -hmm. okay, these are some of the things. Like, give me an example. I know you got free game, right. right? So, if you had anything, like, to share with the public on wanting to start their dreams, whether it's a clothing line, whether it's, you know, whatever, music, whatever the case, like, what type of advice would you give them? Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you're pushing, what product or service, it's about the grind. Mm -hmm. So... Through your experiences, what could you share with our listeners and viewers as far as being able to move forward prosperous? <sighs> Have an empowered um, mindset, right? Wanting to see somebody excel, right. succeed, right? right? Um, reflection, revamping self, right? Paying attention to signs, yeah. um, being aware. Uh, to be aware is to be alive. It's to be alive, honestly. Uh, My mother taught me that, y'all. <laughs> Shout out, Ma. <laughs> but again, I go back to thinking it through. Mm -hmm. Because again, we all have ideas, mm -hmm. but how is it going to impact the next? Right. right? And who are you gearing it to? Because mm -hmm. again, just like you said, everybody has sweaters and ideas and they come out with their clothing. Right. But how far are you truly going to go with that idea? Right? Because I'm only looking at the hood. Right. Right. I'm only looking at this type of people or a certain the, aspect. A certain aspect. The, uh, well, how do you, how's it called? Uh, compartmentalizing yourself. Right. Yeah. Instead of looking at the overall, the abroad, right. the umbrella. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, but follow oneself. Seriously. Before anybody else, follow oneself and know that you stand true to you. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, everything else is like, yo, you, you bake your own pie, right? When you got all the ingredients. Yeah. That's true. Seriously. And then you can share that piece with somebody else. Because I got 100% uh, percent of everything, right? But the finances didn't create all of that. This did. Right. Having that, that, that solid mind frame to say, I can instead of I can't. Hmm? Put more in power within yourself. Yeah. I'm glad you said that, man. Yeah, that, that's deep because, you know, a lot of people wouldn't be able to figure that out. You know what I mean? And for you to put it in that per, in that perspective so they can understand, like that's... They're, they're looking for someone to give the answers all the time. Exactly. That part right there. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So now, like, you know... Now you, now you have your clothing line. Now you're doing your thing, right? Now, uh, obviously, like we said, we talked about your stuff is overseas. Right. You're doing things. Like, how do you stay, in, like, are, are you the type to stay in contact with your customers? Because, honestly, your, your, your gear is not, it, it's high-end, bro. And, and, it's high-end streetwear, formal wear. And this is like, this is not even touching the surface. But I wanted the public to see because dime. <laughs> All day. Dime. <laughs> what an opportunity, family. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't just go in your wardrobe, in your right. closet, and wherever your garments are, and pull this stuff out and throw it in your car and just be all over the city. Me? I will for the right opportunity. Because, again, I can go a lot further than just in the hood. Right. I'm thousands of miles away already. Hmm? So I didn't have to take this. But me and you, bro, we got history. Yeah, we come on. Come, let, 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 hold on, hold on. Let's talk about that. Listen, listen. We oh, we meet this opportunity. <laughs> hey, listen, man. Me and him, we met. Oh, uh, shout out to Frank Rizzo, man. Absolutely. Me. Him, his cousin, yo, listen, man, shout out to Frank Rizzo, man. Like, all jokes aside, man, that, yo, y'all are doing big things, man. Like, come on. <laughs> because we put ourselves in good positions, but we shared our endeavors together, like, seriously, right? Because he has something that I seen in him that was empowering, right? And brought it to the table. And because I had the overall scope of things, this is an environment for everybody to come to, right? And because he's older, he's wiser. Right. He's got the wisdom. He's got a little bit of finance. He's, he can kind of help us get things that we need inside the establishment. I'm young in this. I'm just trying something out. But when you give the next man opportunity because you see his vision and you saying, well, shit, I'm good. Well, let's rock. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's all that we need sometime as one person to truly see your vision and jump on board with you. Not take advantage, but jump on board with you. Of course, it's, and, then, and then on top of that, it's family, it's family, you feel me? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, yeah, you can say that in, in some aspects of, but the family's the ones that burn the bridge more so than anything, right? So again, I have to say I'm grateful that that bridge was never burnt. Yeah. And if we make a phone call, that phone call's always solid. Yeah, because yeah, now we're moving on to the next. Okay, it's been a few years, what are we doing now? Yeah. And that's what we want. So, that's what Rizzo be on too, man. He stay on that. Yeah, but that's why he's where he is today. Right. Because he stayed mm -hmm. driven. He stayed directed, right? And in and, and that aspect, he, he didn't rely on somebody to give him what he has. Right. My man really hustled hard for that. Right. And it's crazy, man, because, you know, bigging him up, man, especially on that level, like, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, when I see you, I see him. When I see him, I see you. It's like, you guys, to me, are like two peas in a pod. You get what I'm saying? Like, you guys have the drive, the dedication. You guys have the know-how. You guys have the gift to gab. You guys, there's other things they got, but we're going to keep that off camera. But these dudes, man, yo, shout out to Riz, yo. <laughs> you, you definitely did that dude, man, for real. Yeah, Seriously, yeah, so. Yeah. Definitely, man. You know, and uh, I wanted to, you know, go back, you know, into your clothing line again, you know, just a little bit just to explain. Uh, where do you see your clothing line, like, in the next two to five years? Like, I see this, honestly, on Mulan Fashion Week, New York Fashion Week. Come on, let's talk about it. Paris Fashion Week. We're definitely high-end fashion, mm -hmm. right? Um, but there's a certain look that we're going for, right. and we're still working towards that. So we're not going to give too much to the public, um, but you won't see us in local mom-and-pop right. urban stores. Right. They just don't belong in there. It doesn't belong in no. there. Um, I've been offered quite a few different opportunities, you know, product placement, shelving and stuff like that, but I have to be particular as to who I'm giving that opportunity to because it's an opportunity for you, exactly. not for me, right? I can sit on this, it's fine. 
But I know when I put that dollar amount on it and where it's being sold at, there's a customer who's willing to pay that full price. And even more. There's, there's no negotiating, and because that's not what we're looking for. A real customer won't negotiate. Not negotiate. No. Well, I mean, you don't negotiate online. No. Hmm? You don't negotiate your phone bill. When you walk into that store and you see that price, you don't walk up to the counter and say, hey, can can, can we bother with this price right here? You know? Yeah, if I look at say clearance or sale, exactly. you're going to pay that price. Yeah. yeah. But I'm not looking to force somebody to pay that price. The look in itself is going to pay, pay for itself pretty much. When's the last time you went into Gucci and you said, yo, I want this belt, I want this hat, I want this tie, I want this, this, I want that, that, the purse, whatever, at your price? That Please say it again so they understand. Never. Exactly. Never. That means it's quality. You understand? Just like you understand. quality. Yeah. And we have so much more to show for. You know what I mean? And um, I'm going to take my time with this, right? Because I want to be able to say we've lasted 70 years. Huh? We've done well. This is the ultimate brand. RG Pillar is the ultimate brand. And I will solidify it as such. I've spoke it and it's going to exist. Real talk. Yeah. Honestly, man, like, like, you're a trendsetter, right? Yeah. It's the truth, mm -hmm. right? A lot of people know you, okay? A lot of people rock with you, mm -hmm. and they obviously rock with you, number one, because of who you are as a person. Number two, they rock with you because of your mind frame. Yeah. Like, this man is smart, man. He's an entrepreneurial genius, man. Y'all better pay attention to this man, you know, and... and, and <laughs> hey, it's the truth. It's the truth. I, I gotta give you your flowers, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate, I appreciate that. Thank you. You know I'm telling the truth, right? Right? And watch this. This is the final outcome of who he is, what he stands for. Come on, man. This is the, man, look, look, just look at this. Look at that. Quality, quality, quality. So um, when, when you see Pillar Bear University, we're truly trying to educate. Of course. There's no facility as of yet. But this is the facility, right. right? When we step out that door and we come across the next walk of life, hey, young man, hey, young sister, right? If you're leading wrong, we have to redirect. If we know something better that's going to do better for you, we got to educate you. That's a university. Yeah. And that's within self. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I feel like that's more so why this piece came along the way it did. And it's, it should become a staple. Yeah. So as, yeah. as, as a collective, if we can all speak this into existence, I'd greatly appreciate that. Of course. The family will greatly appreciate that, right? Because we have these generations coming up behind us and they expect something from us. Of course. And we better be able to give them some. That's deep, man. Talk. Yeah. Real talk. That's deep, bro. This, this, is, this is not just an interview. Right. This is not just a conversation. This is life. This is facts. Y'all pay attention to a lot of social media. A lot, a lot of content is out there. What's important to you? Hmm? Hmm? How's it going to change your life once you turn that channel? What are you going to take from that information you just gathered? Hmm? You better know what you're doing. You better know who you're talking to. Yo, he... I hope y'all are picking up what he's putting down, man. Especially because I care for y'all. I care for the world. Mm -hmm. hmm? I tell everybody I love you. Yeah. yeah. And mean it. What you look like, yeah. you ain't did nothing to me. Mm -hmm. You ain't done me no wrong. Mm -hmm. But my kids are grown. Mm -hmm. hmm? 26 and 22, I'm a grandfather. You a young grandfather, too. That's crazy. I'm 45 <laughs> years old, man. As of August 3rd, man. God bless me. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Son was able to gain a promising position with TSA mm. hmm? boy make more money on the 9 to 5 than his daddy mm. and I have no problem with saying that because I created that mm -hmm. and I told him to do better mm. Hmm? Mm. I won't even tell y'all how much he's making at the age of 22 oh, hmm? you know what? You I got chips you know, you know what's funny? I'm glad you said that because because even speaking from a father standpoint, yes, like it's our job as father. That, shout out to the mothers out there. The Definitely mothers, shout out to the mothers. But y'all, the reasons why we have them. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Greatly appreciate you. Yeah. You know. Well, hold on. I thought it was the fathers who put the seed in. In the uh, uh, don't hate me, ladies. Don't hate me, don't hate me ladies. I, I heard. I heard it from somewhere. It's okay, but we are the root. Yeah, that's all. And I mean, you have to call us. Thank you for cleaning it up for me. That's all. Because I don't want no girls mad at me. Like, oh, lady, I, 
can feel some kind of way and it's all right, but we need you. Right. Regardless to what, you know what I mean? You you are the housing behind our children. Hmm? And we're grateful for you as women. And, and men, truly, right. chill with the degrading, yeah. right? And they spend more money than we do. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm, no, listen, listen. I'm so glad he said that because I'm, I'm, I'm so glad you said that because guys don't buy, women buy. Yeah. But remember, the, 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 let's just keep it on. Let's keep it a hundred. The buy. fashion is really women and children. We buy to impress. That piece, but women mm-hmm. buy for other reasons. I can't even speak on that. I will shop. Well, that piece. You spend good money. That's the part I'm talking. All the deals. That's the part I'm talking. Huh? That's the part I'm talking. They get the codes. <laughs> they shop better than we do, yeah. but we shop for the impression. Yeah. We want to impress. So, have you ever had a? Have you have you ever, ever had your lady? Look, you got me stuttering. Mm-hmm. Yo, like, have you ever had your lady? Right? Ever see what you had on and be like, no, take that off, put this on. No. That's wow. dope. <laughs> I spend time with myself first. There you go. So, so, so she's not compromising your style. No, because they don't want to be compromised neither. Yo, that's deep. They truly don't. They don't want to be told that it doesn't look right. It don't feel. It don't fit right on you. You understand what I'm saying? When they step out, they want the best compliment from their man possible. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So I have to feel the same way because I'm in the mirror. I'm in it. Watch this. It, watch this. It's evident. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm definitely. Yeah. It's, it, come on, man. This, no. this, this, this is evident, man. Like, I had to start with something of class. Look at this, first. man. Yeah, man. This is class. This is high end, man. It's high end. And, and I don't brag and boast about it. Again, I'm going to brag for you. As you should, right? As a consumer, as a good guy, somebody who's being honest. Mm-hmm. You see me rocking it, baby. Woo! <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm very humble because God gave me this gift. Right. And for a long time, I sat for hours just creating, just drawing, right? Filling up paper. I didn't know where these pictures was going. Right. Trash. Mm. Oh, I like this one. I fold over to the next until I filled the book up. But I always felt like those ideas, they have to come out of this paper. They have to come off of these computers and onto something that people can be. Mm. A tangible. A tangible item, right? That's what BMW told me. Bring me something tangible. And that stuck with me. I've been educated by some 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 real big moguls, right? Top tier people. <laughs> hey, they, they, does this not speak for it? Does this not say it? Yeah, man. Yeah. So I mean again, if if I can get the community's vote, right? Acceptance, we can all expand together. I don't want this on my own. I don't need all of it, right? I'm not going to take it with me when I'm gone. So it's for the world. Seriously. Polo did it. Gucci did it. Versace did it. Nautica did it. So can RG. Right. Yeah, I love how you said that, man. That's deep, bro. That's deep. Absolutely. For sure. RG Pillar, man. Y'all been... Oh my gosh, man! Yo, <laughs> yo, this, this is my guy, man. Yo, like, like, so, like. I had to step out, man. We, we, we in the heart of the berry. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's not easy where we are up north, right? But we make it do what he do. We definitely make it do what it do, right? And we survivors out here, big time. Real talk. Yeah. Real talk. And ain't a lot of survivors out. Oh, nope, absolutely not. Now, um, and, and some of us don't exist anymore. Yeah. So just yeah. just being grateful to be able to wake up, breathe this natural air, and try something new. Mm. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed that way. That's deep, man. The funding is going to come. The finances. The finances is already there, right? But what's your purpose? Mm. That's the big piece Because I, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you Like I know a lot of people That got the money Right mm-hmm. But their vision Their purpose Is totally off If it came too easy mm. Either it came too easy Or it was given You know Can you elaborate on that? <laughs> you have to man You have to Oh man <laughs> Silver spoon mm-hmm. Hmm Um you're born into this, right? So you don't have to try hard, right? You need to think about that. I got the money. Right. Let me just go over here and just pay for it. It's easy, right? But us, we wake up thinking, how much am I going to make today? Especially if you don't have a job. You yeah. dang work every day. Yeah. You're dying every day. It ain't working. Bro. It ain't working, right? So we 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 definitely have to pound the pavement a lot harder than most. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. So 
I'm gonna go hard with this one. Of course. I'm gonna go hard with this one, Lenny. But guess what? You ain't just going hard. You going smart, bro. Smart. Come on, man. Like, yo, oh, you go. Come on, man. Oh my God. Uh, Can you say, say that one more time? We're, oh, we're definitely re- registered and trademark. Oh yeah. You you have to. Mm-hmm. And, to and I needed them to hear that. By yourself as an official business, mm-hmm. you have to register yourself. Right, right. Trademark, you just take it to the next level. Right. You can't be touched that way. Right, mm-hmm. I man. And, and you feel like somebody's gonna steal your pieces? Let them. But they can't get far with You ain't going far. Yeah. I would rather you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, hey listen. I understand why he said that. Do you get what I mean? The, the slow ones will get it later. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a risk because everybody's doing it. Yeah. Copyright infringement, mm-hmm. all of that. Mm-hmm. But be unique. Mm-hmm. Be self, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Be creative on your own. Mm-hmm. Don't take from the next because yeah. we all got the same brain. Mm-hmm. What you mean? He gave us the same gifts. It might be a little different from yours, but you can do just the same thing I did. <sighs> Ask questions. Hmm? Oh God, yo, yeah, info- yeah, yeah, <laughs> yo, I, hey, listen, <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all better understand who this man is, man. Like, long story short, like, you know, where could everybody, uh, you know, go ahead and then purchase Definitely your stuff? So. Like, like, we, we, we got to deal with the website first. You know, people need to understand where they could purchase your stuff. So we're definitely on the, um, we're in construct, we're, we're in construction right now, right? But you can definitely find us on rgpillar.com. Gotcha. Right? You'll find the shoes there. You'll find one of. Our exclusive paisley jackets. It's, a, it's a definitely a beautiful piece. Um, They'll see it right there. They'll see it right there. Also on Instagram. So just type in RG Pillow on Instagram. I'll pop right up. They'll see it right there. And, and you'll be able to see this logo. Just click on that logo right there, and it'll give you a couple of more pieces, some variations. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look at that logo. Look at that logo. So, so definitely everyone, the world, feel me. Become one. Yeah. Become a pillar. Yeah. I need you. Mm. I love how you said that, become a pillar. Become a pillar. That's deep, man. Right. That's very impact deep. Impact your community. Yes, one more time. Seriously, impact your community. Yeah, stop being greedy. Yeah. Stop trying to hoard. Stop doing all that. Like, seriously, man, like, let's work together, man. Let's do what we got to do. If you got to give a little bit. It don't, hurt, it don't hurt to pay it forward. It, it will go a long way. You just have no idea. Choose the right one to give it to, yes? Yeah. But give a little bit. Yeah. Don't hold on to everything you got, yeah. right? Because yeah. you, you, you can't fulfill yourself with more if that pocket is full. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm? Yo, that's deep, bro. You got to come out of there with something. Bro, that's... <laughs> hey, yo, he ain't lying, man. He ain't lying. You know what I'm saying? That's and... all I've been doing. I've been giving opportunities with no money. Mm-hmm. Hmm? Because I, I truly want to see how far that young brother or sister was going to go. Mm-hmm. Just be able to have a place to go. See, I'm glad you said that because yeah. I believe that giving person knowledge, right, without giving them the money, they're going to appreciate it more in the long run. Because you can exercise that same knowledge 10 times fold. Exactly. Huh? Can't nobody take that knowledge from you once you got it. Exactly. So now I'm going to keep making money off of that knowledge. Exactly. And I'm going to expand on that education because exactly. there's more to learn. Exactly. Hmm? exactly. Like I said, seek. <laughs> Yeah. You shall find the answer. Man, listen, I'll tell you one thing. I done found the answer with this fashion on dogs, yo. Listen, who RG Pillar yeah. in the building, making it happen. You already know. Uh, man, listen, man, it's an honor to have you, bro. Like, real yeah. talk, man. Come on. I mean that, seriously. I really, really mean that because at the end of the day, you not only yeah. a wonderful businessman, but you my dog, you my brother. Like, And I got to salute you, man, you know, for who you are and what you're doing because it's people like you that keep Dime Magazine successful. And I ain't getting, I ain't going to continue to be successful without you. I, I got to tell, tell the truth. And all, all of my viewers, all I'm gonna say my, but all of our viewers, okay? Amen. Shout out to the staff, everybody. Yeah. But everybody out there, man, please understand. Oh, I want to give a big shout out too to my number one photographer, Northeast, killing the game. Yours truly, Trey, Trey. from your passion. Knock okay, out, your passion magazine, <laughs> killing the game. Yeah. Much love to you. And yo, y'all better make sure y'all reach out to Trey too, man, because guess what? He's back. He's back. You know what I mean? And that's what we doing, man. And much more, one more, one more, one more huge shout out to RG Pillar, killing the game. We see it. Y'all see it. Salute. Y'all see it. Salute. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. These are the cabbies, y'all, so go get them. Oh, man. Check out that page, rgpillar.com. Oh, man. Uh-huh. And you already know, man. And, and for the prospects, if you if you guys truly want a pair, um, find a way to reach out to me. Uh, if you, should I throw my number out there? Give me. 
Uh, you know what? I would leave. Uh, no, honestly, honestly, I would. I would. They would. They really want to sit down and kick it with you. Guess what? Let them hit you up on the on the Instagram, on the IG, and all. Just follow me on the gram. Um, you won't pay the price that the price is on on, on the page. You know, I'll give you the definitely give you the discount code. But just reach out. And we'll make it happen. Discount's gonna be dime. D Y M E. No, sir. I was just joking. No, say that. Say oh, for real? Oh, oh, fuck it. Ah, yeah. Dime Magazine. Dick. No, no, no. No, no. The, the code is going to be D Dime. D Y M E. That's it. Ah, we solidified. We solidified that way. That's easy. Uh huh. We run this. <laughs> Yo. Simple. Yo. Right? Oh, my God. What happened? Yo. You don't pay full price. Be the first 100. Be the first 100. Mm. Be the first 100. Mm. First 100. The first 100. Be the first 100. What would you do for the second hundred? Nothing. You pay full price. All right, full price. So you already know what it is. Y'all better go to the website. Y'all see it right there. Hit him up right there. All right, y'all see his IG. Hit him up. Talk to the brother. And hey, get look, look, look. We, we, we don't play because I think we have a fair wall. Yeah, y'all, y'all want me to take them off my foot? Yeah. I, I, they're so comfortable, I don't want to take them off. That's how bad it is, right? <laughs> yeah. Just so you know, we only yeah. we carry quality. This ain't yeah. just one pair. I actually have my own pair. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, I got another pair on the other side over there. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Man, yeah. Listen, he came with merch. He came with merch for real. Yeah. He didn't come to mess around, y'all. So please understand who this man is, man. You know. And my last question to you is: is you being who you are, being an innovator? What does it mean to you to be able to touch people's lives moving forward as you continue to grow successfully? That's God's will. Okay, see, I said the wrong thing. I shouldn't have said him. That, that ain't my way, man. Yeah, I messed up. <laughs> yeah, I messed up. That ain't my way, man. Yeah, yeah, my yeah, plan's yeah. been written already. Mm. I'm supposed to touch lives. Lord, I am sorry. Mm. I'm supposed to touch an impact, man. I'm a messenger. You do his works. We, look, look, man, I, I, I can't even go that far because a lot of y'all won't even understand if I took it there. But go read your scriptures. Real talk. Go read your scriptures. And, and, and I feel like based on having the better knowledge, the understanding, the wisdom, it, it ain't really tr- too much you have to learn from man. Hmm? He already gave it to you. He gave you every answer that you may be possibly looking for from the flesh. All day. He gave it to you. All so day. My, my, my will has been given through God. Yes. Right? So as long as I can reach one, I'm going to teach one. Mm. RG Pillar style. Mm. RG Pillar style. Understand what he just said, man. You got a real one in the building. Remember what I said? Not that anybody could just come up here. Not just anybody. So understand who this man is. Go check out RG Pillar. Look him up. Hit him up. Let him know y'all need some gear for your shows. Let him know y'all need all kind of stuff, man, because this man has it, and it's all custom. It's all custom. And understand that and make sure. I'm willing to feed the information. Yeah. If there's something that you want to know to get started, mm-hmm. you know, if, if, you're, if you're hitting a roadblock and you just don't know which direction to go in, find me. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm in this community. I'm trying to build. You know what I'm saying? Like these bricks. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. We keep... Refacing them, we keep repointing them. Y'all know what that means for these stone workers, hmm? You gotta educate yourself, man. But know that I'm, I'm out here to build with everybody. And like he said, man, you already know, man. Y'all better go ahead, hit him up online, hit up his website, hit him up on social media. Cause guess what? Hey, get with this man, cause he's already with us. <laughs> Dime Magazine, man. You already know what it is, man. You already know. Much love to all my listeners, supporters. Yo, this is what it is, man. RG Puller in the building. Yo, you already know. Appreciate it, man. I appreciate you, bro. I really do, man. Like, y'all better understand what this is, man. And guess what? Dime Magazine. We out of here.